ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> well, I am your host, Michael Manning, and welcome back to Penn State Berenice. We have for you tonight. Sharpening my feathers. We have for you tonight a double feature actually. We'll be opening with this game between Penn State Bear and T League Team 2 up against Sunny Canton, team you a name you might recognize. In our very first in our very first best it's three of the night. After that, their game doesn't start till nine. We will be joining Baron Team Three. See how they're doing. Going into the pick band phase here, we have Sunny Canton on left side, Baron on the right, on the red side. Bands initially aiming for junglers, really leaning towards jungler and botling, aside from that Aatrox band. Udyr, Udyr and Sivir locked in on blue side. Uh, look for that jungler and potentially that bot lane alongside the support. Which obviously locked in for the third one. This Baron is locked in their entire bot lane with Caitlyn and Blitzcrank on bot. Very tried and true, pretty old school. You hook him, I cook him. Oh! The, a poppy hover. Okay, I'm fully expecting that. To be a poppy top. Just because of, um, I don't think I've ever seen poppy support. And I doubt that poppy's a jungle. Unless, of course, that Udyr is top lane, which is absolutely, this is a pretty good flex pick in all honesty. Zed ban for Baron's Baron's fourth as they lock in that Jarvan. out by Baron is their final ban. A lot of mid lane targeting here. Victor and Mordekaiser. The final ban from Sunny Canton. So Baron on red side still has to lock in their top lane and their mid. Both teams still have to lock in their mid laner. Zahar, and by Ward. Lux on Sunny Canton side. Some heavy poke. If that, especially if those are bot lane, this could, or both mid lane, it's gonna be a poke fight. Shogath locked in by Damien on Sunny Canton side and Ord locked in by Baron. Baron's lineup is a lot we've seen from them before. And oh my, okay. So some switching around. Find a Sunny Canton, so let's keep focusing on Baron. Baron, a lot of what we've seen before. A lot of just tried and true in their lanes. Kate, Blitz, Malz, Jarvan, Orn. These are characters that have been in their niches doing what they've doing what they've done since they've been released and it's just Baron is looking to aim for consistency meanwhile on sunny can side 
pretty interesting. Cho'Gath top and Udyr. I mean, Cho'Gath, Udyr, and Lux. Nothing entirely special there. Sivir, haven't seen a whole lot recently um, after her rework. The one that really surprises me is that Poppy support. I am very intrigued by that pick. Never seen it before, but I I haven't heard about it uh, yet. But considering Poppy's kit, I could totally see it working. Her W blocking those dashes is it gonna see too much play. Aside from potentially um, Caitlyn's back dash with the uh, the hook shot if. It managed to get on top of her but it could definitely actually not a whole lot of dashes by Brenda Royal or in a Jarvan definitely are the most impactful that anti-dash ability is going to be but I'm very yeah Mid lane is going to be extremely poke heavy. Mal's and Lux, that's just how it is. A tank matchup top lane. Udyr and Jarvan, two junglers who want to gank pretty early on and just try to get their teams ahead while providing mountains of CC and some decent damage. Yeah, and pr pretty similar like picks all around actually. Sivir and Caitlyn both, very nice range. Um, and a tanky Definitely tanky on the can side, but tanky support to to um, disrupt the enemy team. One more minute, folks. You need to do now's time. Grab a snack, grab a drink, hit the bathroom. We will be hopping in in just a few. Okay, and here we go, into the match proper. Remember, we have Sunny Canton. Oh. We have Sunny Canton on blue side, Baron on red. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Baron looking at a top invade here. Sunny Canton, leaning in with the five prong Defensive approach we've seen before. Oh no, Master does he just it just in time. Didn't know hope was there. Ice on the way, but Sunny Ken's gonna back off. Baron gets that war top. So now, hey, knowledge is power. So now they know exactly where. Not exactly, but they have a good idea where Sunny Canton is going to be. Their jungler has eyes on him.
Looks like he is going to be starting top lane as well. Both teams starting top. I'm going to be passing down to bot. Considering the power of uh, bot lane in the current meta, no surprise there. I'm actually kind of surprised there wasn't a... Um... Um, oh, thank goodness. Okay. Huh. Bit of a lag spike there. That was weird. We shouldn't have any issues nearly to the level that we had last night. Or on Wednesday during our last Overwatch stream. Sorry, good for that, folks. Both, both supports just sitting and wait. Trout getting some nice poke there. Man, keeping an eye on Mr. Hobo. They see him getting towards Vibe. Justin misses that hook. Both bot lanes lock in level 2 at the same time. We're just up to now that Billow's Breath does so much damage. Actually seeing a full clear by Chi Fong. Well, Mr. Hobo. Very, very wounded, but going for a faster clear in an attempt. Looks like to get an earlier gank bot. <coughs> Excuse me. Mr. Hobo is hovering bot in that tri bush. Here he comes. He, oh, Justin's caught. There's the ignite He's pinned to the wall. He healed to try and save him, but it's too little too late. Did manage to get Mr. Hobo's kills, but that's exactly what Orn wants. A very nice CC combo by Korn. Just fighting against Trial. Not close here. Chi Fong still ways away. Great poke by Electro, though. Damien going for the tower dive secures the kill. There's one. Oh my gosh, the heal comes out from trial. Justin's wa walking after him. Eight seconds still on hook. He's not gonna get the kill. It's great. He was such a long cooldown, but here comes Chi Fong. He's full health. Trial egoing for that spell shield. Justin's gonna try and push. Baron's in an awkward spot. I don't think they'll. Yeah, they can't push that. Can't push that wave fast enough. <laughs> Funnily enough, though, um, Trial did not get either of those kills. Small lead being built up by Sunny Canton. Let's see if they can use that to build some momentum. Dragon's coming up in 30 seconds. We're already getting some great poke, denying ice a lot of farm. And then those ganks bot, considering the uh, lanes, expecting him to be pretty slow, all things considered. A lot of pings going out mid lane. Let's secure that ward. Torn T ping back top lane. Baron overall does have the farm lead though. A lot of that is thanks to Ward's very, very well done uh, CS. Just poking out ice to deny him farm. First Drake, Cloud Drake is up. I mean, no Cloud Soul for this game. Ooh, the first level sixes are coming out. First player. And Gordon goes in. Oh no. At that moment, Master hits six. He has to consume. Corn's gotta get out of there. The slow, the knockup. 
<clears throat> That's gonna be another kill for Sunny Canton. Just Korn missing that knockup Ying before the lava plume was up. Just very, very poor timing. Ooh, Chi Fung. Diving into that push. Isn't spotted. Just going in. Spell shield Damien engages on top of Electro. But that W means that Chi Fung can't take the hook. None of Baron CC is up. And Mr. Hobo is just taking the dragon. That first drink he goes to Sunny Canton as well. Taking all these little victories and stacking them up. Oh, there's that hook. That'll be a kill for Electro. It's a kill and a plate for Master. Getting that kill is a nice little victory for Baron, but Which are not really fighting back here. Ooh, nice little combo on the trial. Gotta be careful. Hook does not connect. Trial's approaching level six here. He almost has it. It's gonna be huge dive potential, especially with Poppy here. She has Bobby Cinders with a lot of HP. Baron's bot. Forced to recall. That's gonna be a lot of gold for trial. Full wave plus a plate. Damien rotating mid. Ward saved by that control ward. Ice, oh my gosh, using that Luxel to clear the wave. Managing to catch up at farm now. Baron Asher is up. Both teams leaning for it. Fuck, there's gonna be troubles there. Oh, he does now with that Eve. Reward. Shelly smacking she fog. Only a 1k gold lead. Four study cats at Baron can absolutely turn this around. They have plenty of time. They just need to take and play these fights better. Oh, a fantastic hook by Justin. Trial spell shields the knockup. And he gets out rather unscathed. Ooh, where did she fall be surrounded? Gorn's on the way, but he's only half health, Master. Let's him back. That babe backs off. Dragon's up in a minute. Bot again. It has to be careful, especially with that alt on Damien. They are at risk of just being CC chained into oblivion. The turbo backing up, clearing Krugs. Of course, in a really precarious spot top lane. Krugs G falling dash again. Oh no, trial! Forced to flash out. Ooh, the flash knocks up Damien. There's the alt. Oh no! 
knocks away both members of Baron Electra's all alone. Doesn't have any ult for the null field. Forced to flash. Oh no. That fantastic poppy ult by Damien completely screwed Baron over. I'm pretty sure he meant to do that, but that was impeccable. Baron trying to burst it up before he can get the knockout, but very, very well timed. Another drag for Sunny Ganon. Good two here. I just get battered. Got a knockup. It misses. Corn walks right into that knockup. There's the cataclysm on two. Master. Ward's on the way. Chifong's still fighting. The null feel. He secures that kill. Mr. Hobo's half HP. Oh my god. That Udyr Q. With that black cleaver going to decimate Ward. Do not scoff at AD. AD Udyr is terrifying. Turret plating will soon fall. Shelly, I'm not sure which team got it. Here comes Ward coming from behind the flash out. Mr. Hobo's 2 HP. Meanwhile, bot lane. Electro's getting battered. The hook! Damien secures the kill, but that ignite means that he dies too. Nobody died top. And who got rift? Oh. Son of Canton got it. Ice Rig secured it. Gotta be careful getting poked out here. Very well typed spell shield. Gold lead is building and building for Sunny Can now 3k plus. We're already gone in the top lane. Sunny can still have Shelly.
Ooh, Mr. Herbo dodged that hook. Flush in. Oh no, Electro gets caught. Tries to flash as the Gale Force. He's still alive. The trial takes that tower. The smite too. There's no getting away for Electro. He did manage to buy enough heat off of his team. Baron in a very rough spot here. Lead for Sunny Kid is just stacking higher and higher. 10 to 4. Third Drake going to go to Sunny Can. Nobody on Baron's side have any opportunity to even try and contest. Knock up, she gets Damien. Oh my god, the cataclysm on top of trial. Justin gets that shut gets that kill. And she gets the shutdown on Mr. Hobo. Oh, why is that just some nice extra damage to Ice Ringer? Nobody on Baron's side died. Oh no! Justin didn't move. He had his shop open. Nice little heads of gold gun and she's fucking master just walking up on him. Forced to flash. The hard steal. But you're not gonna risk it. Just push to disadvantage. We're trying to do something. Damien's hovering top. We're going for a dive here. So much beef. Oh, jeez. Green combo here. Tries to dash out. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Ward TPing to the, the banner. I didn't know you could do that. Mr. Open finishes off Corn Trial. Comes up top to secure a double. Ooh, kill for Electro. It's an Abyssal Mask buy. Yeah, this is full AD Udyr. Blade of the Rune King as well. Gold lead on Sunny Cat's side. Baron managing to find little victories inside these team fights, but Sunny Canton has just built such a snowball that they're struggling to keep up.
not letting Corn walk away. Nice W through the knockout, but so much damage already taken out. Bursting down. Justin I managed to get Damien. The trial is very low. If I want that cataclysm, do it call the Forge God. It connects! And that's a huge chunk of gold for Chi Fong. They're gonna have to keep contesting here. They need to stop this soul. Oh, the CC combo! And that's a massive chunk of gold for Electro. That looks like it might just be a, a dragon four pit safe air. Be careful though. Ice Trigger is in there with the final spark. No, he wants to try and yoink this. He doesn't have vision, but he's setting up the E. No risk it. Oh no! Oh, that's, that's so unfortunate. Despite that fantastically played team fight. That is Dragon Soul for Sunny Canton. With that, with that Hextech Soul, it's gonna be even harder for Baron to run away. Justin's caught out alone. Electro and Ward forced on the back foot. A nice bit of damage to Mr. Hobo, but in no position to try to challenge him. Again, forcing a uh, Nash recall here. Here and watch the challenge. Uh, Chifung might try and go for a steal. Setting it up. Oh no! The 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 dash cancel oh, from Oh Electro Mage just got out there. Dash cancel from Damien stop Chifung from recover. The Cataclysm! Gets trial, Damien flashes away, but that can't level connect. Master's getting battered. Baron is playing these fights very well, but they're already so behind in objectives. Power after that fight. They're trying so hard, but they're still so behind. They managed to get that mid tower. Another just bad back by Baron. After just getting caught by that um, Luxalt, backing there is just not what you can afford to let happen.
Baron is getting sieged out here. Master's taking all this punishment. Manages to read the dash, gets that hard steel proc. He's trying to cause as much disruption as possible. So, but oh, with that triple knockup, Baron is left in disarray. There goes Chi Fong. Ford is sent back to Fountain. Horn gets torn apart. Electro manages to survive. Here's a double kill. Ford gets Damien. Again, Baron are getting little victories in these fights, but it's not enough. It's just too little too late. Baron looking to fight for this Elder Dragon, but the whole team isn't here, and they're just individually less strong than Sunny Canton. Here comes Master as well. Ooh, Baron manages the hook onto Mr. Hobo. But there goes Justin. Wow, I, I doubted it, but this popular oh the failed flash by Ward. Chi Fong trying to at least get the kill on Mr. Hobo, but he can't quite. Trial finishes him off. And that definitely looks to me at least like that's going to be game one. Yeah, Baron had potential early, but just some really unfortunate misplays led to Sonny Canton securing the first game. Folks, it's gonna just test some stuff. Let's go, let's move. Start to start, let's go. Let's go, let's move. Start to start, let's go. Okay, so we have a couple minutes till. Oh. Actually, it looks like we'll be hopping straight in. Sorry, Julia. <laughs> Guess we'll be hopping straight in to our very next game already. Ringer left all of a sudden. Maybe some, maybe a mistake made in that fan phase? 
was... I think his client randomly died. Well, he's back, so... We take those. Arm no foul. Sharks knocked out both. Very heel heavy, reliable, just beefy bruisers. Honestly, I would not be surprised by a switched ban, maybe to knock out Udyr. Or, um, honestly, Poppy, because that Poppy was terrifying. Poppy's ult won them so many, won Sunny Canton so many team fights. There's, there's the your ban. We can knocking out Zaya yet again. The immediate lock in for victory. Rising. A mid lane focus with Zed and Victor both locked in. Kaelin and Zack locked in for Baron side me on Misfortune and Mumu on the bit. Here's the thing. Yeah, Zack's a jungler. I genuinely believe that that is a Zack support. Just because, like, Sun again, Zack is that they're willing to play weird, funky... Like, Tank's really strong enough. Um, and after that Poppy, I really just expect Sunny Canton's, um... Support to want to play like weirdo kit like weirdo um yeah, tank yeah. divey tank supports greg and more guys are locked down looks like we're focusing on the top lane Necton is the final band from Sunny Canton. Baron still has one more. They think genuinely be the biggest threat. Shogat, not surprised. Jogath played fantastically last game.
Vi and Darius to find a lock against by Baron. Renata and Volley Bear on Sunny Can. So that is a Zach. Right? Okay, that is Zach Jungle. Renata support. Caitlyn. Pretty pokey. Miss Fortune and Moo Definitely more all in. Um, though, definitely have a good chunk of poke with the follow up cues by Miss Fortune and her E. And really leaning into the early game with Vi and Darius. Darius, like, Darius is a consistent threat. But to say that he has a strong early game is, well, it's honest. <laughs> Be interesting for Volley Bear as well. I'm, I'm not super well versed on that matchup, but I imagine Volley is going to play it a little bit better than some characters. Um, he has the option to poke at least a little bit with his E, catch some farming, he might not be able to. Um, his W gives him some great sustain. Uh, the stun of this Q and the move speed that it provides is great gank setup. Um, but Darius, if if it if the fight's extended, Darius is just so powerful, and the smart Darius will wait to activate his E till it's absolutely optimal. Folks, I'm gonna hit the bathroom real fast because we have two minutes to hop into the game proper here in the second game of Pet State Baron versus Sunny Canton, right here on twitch.tv slash Pet State Baron Esports. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. <laughs> Thank you. 
Minions have spawned. Sorry, my folks didn't say this game going to be very scrappy. Oh, corner missing that Q. That's devastating. Master playing these traits perfectly. Only, only fighting when he has the absolute advantage. to take that tower shot but took another two one's very low though if master had ignite Gorn would absolutely be dead oh it's hovering bot side well she's hanging out top cut by that warden forced to walk back corn corn just gonna take the recall looks like Considering how much stronger Zed's early aim is than, uh, oh, nice hook by Justin. Keep it on trial. There's the ignite forcing trials flash. That's a worthwhile trade for subs, especially for the sport. even nice hovering dragon here wants to use this early game pressure to help out a bit ward dodging these abilities beautifully being that farm bitch does what you need on victory as long as you're not dying and you're getting farm you're getting much much stronger thanks to this passive Just knew he walked right on a ward. Very nice ward by uh, Sunny Ken, keeping that tri bush secure. The ward is very low on mana. He sells TP, so he's gonna take that back after securing cannon.
Justin Hain back. She found floating bots, I guess, look right over that ward, sitting right on top of it. Ooh, the game by Justin. As Flash misses the bandage toss. Ooh, both top players level 6 corn manages to get out of that E. That would have that would have even that trade up. Ooh, is the ghost pop? Very close. Oh my god, is Bastion gonna bleed out when the shield's gone? Oh my, he's barely alive. Literally 100 HP. Going to fuck him down. It's first blood for Chi Fong. Turbo forced to flash out. Master gonna TP back top lane. Walking up at a board board sidestep the shuriken. on top of Korn got a fantastic combo out on there. That lightning is keeping the damage up. Oh! Ice gets stunned. Shadow marks on top of Ward. Forces his flash and manages to escape. Fox coming top. He has ult! Here he comes! Just don't let Master move. It's another kill for Chi. Excuser is calling as well. We're gonna cut down on some can's healing. Vi is absolutely a jungler you do not want to let get ahead early. She just provides so much CC, so much shocking amounts of damage. And she really just gets to give uh, ADCs, especially the middle finger. Yeah, it's warded, but Baron knows it's warded. So they can't bring for this first dragon, this hex dragon. They're gonna just try and burst him down. Isn't stepping up. He has level six. He has the curse of the sad mummy. Ice rigid is also coming dragon to help from the secure it's bumbled right into that takes a good chunk of his help just from that trap it's not gonna risk going in electro pops the bullet wave master did get hit by that q oh no corn tries to flash to hit the sweet spot of the q i don't think master had to flash there Very well played by Master. Ward just gets 
burst it down. Oh no. I'll I'll be honest, I don't know why Baron fought that. Like, yeah. Of course the Zack just walked out of vision and engaged. Don't know what else you could have expected. Just like that. So the Kins building up this lead again. Step by Ward. Baron's going to need to start making some plays here. They, they, they've shown in previous games that they can play these team fights great. They just... They need to be engaged. They need to stop playing so passively. They're letting Sunny Canton dictate the speed of this game. Some of these characters, you just can't afford to do that. the death mark ward flashes out oh that combo he's gone oh no masters or ward is not hitting these sweet spots on the queue Built, the lead is stacking. Three K now, sitting in Sunny Ken's pocket over Baron. Second Drake's coming up in 45 seconds. Oh, oh no, Chi Fong backing on a ward. And Sunny King knows that he's gone. He's They're really gonna lean in on forcing this dragon as soon as she spawns. Time to cancel lectures all she Fong secures the kill. Flash Q by Damien. Just gonna try and stop him. There's nothing you can do. This is gonna be another kill. Meanwhile, top lane tower is falling. So they can't play this very, very well. Every member of the team is holding their own, playing their lanes very well. Great team cohesion. Drake goes to Sunny Can. Yeah, he heals the 
assault. Infernal assault. More and more burst damage. Anyone who can get their hands on. And once again, playing for these objectives is fantastic. And forcing Baron to try and fight for this. Oh no, Chifong steps on the trap, almost gets bursted down. The bullet rain almost finishes up his arrow, but he gets away. Trial burst down just in there's the Stormbringer on top of Chi. He and Trial aren't letting a single member stand. Corrin gets enraged. That's enough time. Corrin has nowhere to go. The flash by Master. That's an ace. study kit that they are not giving Baron a moment to breathe. That master is getting caught here. Oh no, she misses the rock punch for the alt. He's trying to help him. Master Stormbringers over the wall. Gets out. Rift Herald is popped mid lane. Oh no, Ice Ringer is sitting in that bush waiting for Ward to come back. Trial gets another 7 and 0 here. So you realize the board is coming. Gotta take that tower. Another 
another kill for ice. of objectives by Sebi Kansen. Another dragon. Another tower falling. There's the hospital takeover ice. <laughs> That's two kills for Electro. Drone is particularly tough born. Oh, he trial and turning this fight around. Trial staying just out of G Fong's range. Electro manages to pop. Oh, and he actually finishes off Mr. Ovo. Oh, no, Kaylin all. Yes, sir. Gonna try and take this tower. Wow, and no words really, trial. Just tearing Justin apart. So far ahead. Cutting off war, he's trying to hit that bramble. No dice. Bramble here. He's had moments stunts in just a moment. Just is getting torn apart.
That's soul for Sonny Canton. Not giving any of Baron chance to get away. We're trying to book it. Oh, no, there's the flash. There he goes. Like to the last survivor. And Trial's not going to let him get away. Two autos. Oh, sorry, three. And that is going to be game. That looks like it's going to be night. Four. Penn State Baron versus Sunny Ken. Sunny Ken bringing it home. Two. Oh. Some fantastic, just utterly dominating play over Penn State Baron. Hey, folks, remember, you read the title of the stream. We're not done yet. Sonny Canton may have been able to close the night over, over Penn State Baron 2 0. We still have folks playing. We have Penn State Baron Team 2 up against the Stonehill Skyhawks. Our Penn State Baron Team League Team 3, sorry. Till the Stonehill up against the Stonehill Skyhawks. Top right into it. Just. Raptor's getting battered here. That's not a great start. Oh my god, a fantastic engage by Kabibus and Asian. Uh. We just barely missed that hook. Rev getting on top of the arc. Basil, nice pull. That's a kill for Ark. Asian Heat is moving mid. Ooh, trying to play it off. Nice hook by Kavinius. Forces Whitetail to flat. Oh, Force Whitetail to cleanse. And forcing captions to flash in mid lane. Very well done. So yeah. So you get this. See a whole lot of comfort picks coming out by Penn State Baron over on. Ooh, let me, let me. This side here. Baron. Let me switch these around. Baron's on his red side this time. Engaged by Ark. Captions barely gets away. Raptor's gotta be careful. Chronos has alt. He's the showstopper. Ooh. He flashes to the tower. Oh! Chronos saves the shield on Facebreaker. Ooh, Ark team gets more stacks here. The rev can't be slowed. The demon flare forcing Rev's flash as well. Ark is stealing everybody's sums. Yeah, gotta be careful, he's gonna take it This is Reach. Oh, this is so scary. Kern is doing a great job to save that face breaker. All you really need is two autos, though. Oh, and here comes Asian Heat. He's had enough of this. Um, wow! Holy hell! Just fantastically played by Kronos. I don't know what BM is, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Kronos. Oh my god! <laughs> Raptor! There's that knowledge check. Utilizing that W. Oh, Kabibus is caught by Captain Throne. Whitetail going in his captain on the way, trying to catch Jer uh, trying to catch JC. He gets out. Very well done. People always forget that uh, Orange Billow's Breath, while a great source of damage, also makes him CC immune. Ark doesn't have demonic extension yet, so he's gotta be careful. I think we're seeing a Bork Rush by uh, Kronos. Yeah, Raptor's just gonna get battered. 
That's another kill for Kronos. That's that's gonna be a fed set is scary. Especially when you have so many tanky characters from to just drop into your team. There, they sell his attack speed. Wow, really utilizing that grip. First dragon is up. And there it is, there's there's Blade of the Rune King on set already. It's gonna get even easier to just batter through Raptor. The patience on Arc not throwing out that E. First trade goes Penn State Bear. happens to be too in a play set. Raptors W CC immune through the uh, the showstopper. Oh and here comes the gank. There's the call the porch got Kronos flashing. He's not going to get away. Demon Flare to slow him down. Doesn't have face breaker or doesn't have the um what is set W called? Um well yeah, wait for him to come back. Rev's getting caught out here too. A nice stun by Ark with the follow up by Asian Heat. Rev is on the way. No, there's the stun again. Rev ain't going anywhere. Asian Heat. See, Baron, rough little start, but they're turning this around. What the hell's it called? Haymaker. Haymaker, face breaker, showstopper. Done by captions. Kronos is on the way, so it's Ark. It's not Cup. Get away. Ooh, Ark gets the pull on captions, forcing him to flash out. Ooh, Raptor flashes out, he barely lives. Ark doesn't have Demonic Ascension. He does have a lot of CC, there's the stun. Oh, he flashes! He manages to live just Barely. Oh my god. Beam is, gets the pull on salvation. All the encore. They see man just to flash if he's caught by a white tail's onslaught. Beamus makes the safe call and backs up. He really backs up. He does not want to risk getting ganked. Top. Here comes Shelly. I'm sure my might be forced to abandon this tower. Yep, down it goes. Asian Heat is on the way. Ark is on the way as well. Shelly looks at the same Here's Ark. There's the ghost. There's the demonic ascension. Caught on the wall. No, he's keeping. That demonic energy up! A lot of damage by Kronos. But Rev might be able to get out. The W dashes through it. And just kills Shelly. The first tower being gone already. It's not great for Baron. 2.5k gold lead. On. Um. Sunhill Skyhawks here. 
Rev is cut by the, um... Oh, here comes Captain. Beams and Ark on the way to help him out. Agent Heat dies, but Ark is still here. Z Green on the other side of Captain. What can run? The killer instinct to get in! Oh, the ignite! And JC Green secures that kill. Bear doing good work to close out this lead, but... Kronos is gonna take the wave. Because we engage on the captions. Might have been a little premature for that demonic ascension, though. This rev is on the way. Oh, but the rest of Baron already here to help out the dragon. Nice hook by Kabimus. Actually takes it over. Ark isn't there, though, to take that. Kronos here. Gathering deck. Kabimus. There's the face breaker. The showstopper on to Asian Heat. It was so much damage done. Ark trying to get away. Rev has his number. Captain just burning him down. Rev secures that kill. Second Drake's going to go. Stonehill Skyhawks. Forced to flush out. Meanwhile, Captions is just burning down Raptor. Man, just get out though. Nice combo like Bemis and Raptor not letting Captions go.
Gravity is caught in low with Kronos, but Asian Heat's on the way. The slow. Barely managed to get away from Kronos. That was dangerous because Showstopper was almost up. There's the ghost pop. Oh, he gets caught by the Encore of Asian Eats here. It's that kill on Whitetail. Side step by Asian Eat. He's on Salvation. There's a Killer Instinct to secure the kill. Oh, Kronos TP's bot. He's dead to hop out his team. Uh, Facebook does so much damage to the Showstopper and the Stride Breaker, but JC Green still managed to secure the kill. It's just Kabemus now. He's trying to get away. The flash over the wall. Rev thought he flashed forward. Kabemus got don't stop. Oh, he's surrounded. Still trying to slow Kronos down. The rest of Pet State Baron are on the way. Shoots up for JC Green. Rex just kill. Baron just kind of coasting behind now. They've got to do something now that they have this player lead.
of the arc. Pops the monk says she pops the ghost. Oh, no. Grabbing behind to try and help. As Kronos batters the back line. The flash into the face breaker. The showstopper of that massive shield means it comes of it. Oh no, call the force god! Doesn't connect! Captions with the Penta! Oh my god. That was just. Well, that was just new Asol. For folks who don't know, um, Asol got completely reworked. And uh, now anybody underneath a certain, threshold, certain health threshold that's constantly increasing makes his passive inside the middle of his black hole instantly dies. The entirety of Penn State Baron got CC'd. He flew in, dropped the E, dropped his enhanced ultimate, which knocks up and does a massive burst of damage. And yeah, that was the uh, most by the book pentakill you've ever seen. Trying to stay alive, he gets the slow. Saying just decided Cronus's range manages to get out. I was forced to pop up with some or pop flash though. Gave him so much extra power. That State Baron is just getting ran through. Oh no, Arc got hit by the. Oh my gosh, got hit by the Sejuani ult. There's no chance to get away. Hook it away. Game is forced to flash. Oh, there's the knockup by Raptor. Some the way, catch the force of flash. Raptor, he burns down. Oh my god, he burns down Raptor. He burns down Asian E. Arc pops the ghost and is chasing him down. Here's the shutdown. But the siege minions. Take the Nexus. We'll be right back, folks. I'm going to hop out to the players and ask to make sure that it was only their first game. So, I will be just a minute. Hopefully, we'll be getting into a second game here. And this exciting set of matches. It's a very even match, actually, between Penn State Baron Team 3 and Stonehill Skyhawks. Right here on Twitch.tv slash Penn State Baron Esports. We'll be back in just a sec.
Shall I turn in my badge and rifle as well?
Sorry for that, folks. I am back. We are heading into our second game between Penn State Baron and the Stonehill Skyhawks. Taking a look at the rosters. Sorry for that. <laughs> um, but let's take a look. We have a Malphite v. Silas top lane. Kane versus Wukong in the jungle. Talia and Lux in mid. Zeri and Zaya in bot. And a set support up against Kabimus' Leona. Very interesting. I, I played a little bit of set support a couple months ago, and it was effective question mark it's like oh, I well you did sorry about that folks but turns out we will be joined something i was spending a little time on while we were out there between games joined today by been a bit since he's been cook has this, but our friend Will, it's the me. captain of the Penn State Baron Counter Strike Global Offensive Team, Woo. which we will want to save it for an announcement for at the end. But hey, works out that you're here. Um, we are going to be shooting and attempting a stream of our third a CSGO third. game um, of the semester uh, tomorrow at 8 p.m. If you can manage to make it, we'd love to see the support. And we're really looking forward to, um, well, it's always fun to try new games. Now, taking a look at this um, lineup on both sides, we have Stonehill on the left side, Penn State Baron on the right. Um, I'm not at all surprised to see that Baron knocked Aurelian Soul out of the running in that first ban phase, <laughs> considering last game. This is a new one. This is Baron's chance to turn this around. Both teams playing comfortable characters. Definitely. Like... You have Raptor on Malphite, you have uh, Asian Hina on Kane, you have JC on uh, JC on Zeri, and Kabimas on Leona. These are characters these players are very familiar with. I and Kabimas is already spinning. I'm excited to see Leona from Kabimas. Uh, I, I don't think I've seen too much of uh, Leona from him, or... Besides tank characters such as the Fresh. He really likes those type of... Oh, one sec, actually, you might want to turn the mic up a little bit. Since there's two of us now. We gotta get that. Ooh, juggle it. There we go. No invades. Look like both teams get a five-prong defend this. The wall. Going for the JC was, was talking about, yeah, hitting this ward. It's not too difficult you stand on the corner and then aim at the snare i'm actually surprised um like i said to the stream i i played set support um with michael for a while and that's what got us up to silver initially that's what we played to get out of bronze um it's interesting because he does a lot of what you want from engaged supports uh while also dealing a good chunk of damage himself but he's very one note if you can't land face breaker if you can't land that pull um, you're not doing a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing a ghost instead of a flash from Asian Hina on Kane. That's a little surprising. Gets to solo raptors because Kane things. That's it. I love Kane doesn't start on a buff. He starts by soloing raptors because of his Q. Already is old too. Malpha, you usually see him played into AD comps, um, and especially AD matchups. Um, there is a lot of AD on Stonehill side, but lane is going to be a little rough. As long as you can just hang back, land those Qs, stack that mana flow band, he should be good for the For bot lane, I think it's... Zeri has the ability to, like, jump and us, glide over the walls. Or... Yes, yeah. yeah, if she dashes into the wall, she goes over. Okay. Oh, Raptor actually went out on top of that tree. I always forget, like, Malphite's level 1 is pretty decent, especially. Oh, no, absolutely. He does a very good. Ooh, amount. nice sidestep by R. Over level 2, though. Kronos coming out a little bit more on top of these. Raptor needs to play around that passive shield. He has a lot of burst resistance, and Silas really relies on just bursting you down. There it is. Although, 
Kronos on the sides is going to be able, if he can, if he can land um, those Qs at long range, he can pop Raptor's shield before the engage, which is exactly what he did there. Hit level 3 first and get a nice little combo off. Push them on the tower. Push them back to Arc. Nice little combo by Arc. Didn't land the, um... Oh, he actually forced Lux's flash. Uh, otherwise, she would have gotten hit by that knockback into the minefield. And I don't think she would have died for it, but she would have been in a much worse spot. This is, this is a, it may not look like, it may not look like a lot's happening, but this is a very tense spot lane. Like, both of these supports are waiting for the single sign of weakness. Silas moving down to river. Looks like, Looks he's, like he's warding the river. He's trying to come, ward, trying to cover Wukong's scuttle crab, which isn't as important as it used to be. Um, but it's still just a nice little extra source of gold and XP for your jungler. Raptor doing the same thing. How is Raptor doing currently? Oh, it seems uh, to be doing better than he was. He was pushed under tower for he's, a bit. He's <laughs> definitely pushing up. Malphite's completely fine to play under tower, though. Like, the thing with Malphite is you're giving up a strong laning phase for a very strong team fight with his ultimate. Ooh, so you're Wukong not expecting waiting for the moment. Yeah, Wukong is waiting for it. Raptor can't get too comfortable. You can't let this push. Do not want to push that. God, be careful here. Kronos. Wukong being very patient, actually still there. Yeah, no, Kronos he knows, waiting now, for the wave When he knows that up. wave goes in, Raptor's going to follow it. Just the Q. Raptor's trying to sidestep the E, but here comes Rev. He flashes, flash. but he's not going to get out. Oh no! Oh, no way! For no way! Okay, not only does he force Rev Flash, he gets a kill out of it. That's worth it. Meanwhile, JC secures a kill on Salvation. White Tail in response fetches off Cabimus. Kill for both bot lanes. And Talia got a uh, barrier. Thanks for the ping, Zark. You wouldn't have caught that otherwise. Raptor uses teleport right back to lane. Right back to lane. Oh, if Not only he knew. See. If only he knew. So you can't feel too bad actually managing to get a kill out of that gank. And heck, look at that. The CS is remarkably even. Raptor should come out on top. Yep. He is sure. now, but the, yeah. the wait, wait. He's actually doing a good job trying to freeze the wave, but. It is going to be slow pushing towards Kronos. And that kill went to uh, Wukong. The kill did go to Wukong. So that puts... Uh, Which is good because Kronos did have a Dark Seal. He only got one stack on it. Um, but still, Wukong is absolutely a potential carry character. You gotta be careful. Ooh, Salvation's coming in. It's the face breaker on Kabimus. This is done. Pops the W for the extra resistance. He's gonna back out. He didn't take that much damage. Definitely took less damage than Salvation. The thing is, though, um, Set's Sustain comes in his passive, which gives him, and I love the way that it's phrased, Set hates losing. <laughs> so, for every 5% of his max health that's missing, he gains extra uh, health regen. Is that, uh... Just okay. When, what is the mechanic with him in Grit? Um, hold on. Looks like having bot here. Both jugglers are covering. We got a bot. Well. He's yeah. engaged by Kabimus. Forcing White Tail to flash. White Tail also still has cleanse. Salvation has a lot of grit here, but he's just gonna back off. They have this um, on Wukong. And you know what? I understand this. I believe the Silas pick happened after the Malphite pick because um yeah, Silas had or er, Malphite has a great team fight out. So does Silas now. That he has that unstoppable force. That that makes sense. The knockup trying to secure this. He's got to be careful because be Kronos, Kronos is getting torn apart by these minions, though. Raptor has to be careful. Kronos, no, he wants to use that all. Raptor's still getting some great poke down. Warding Bush looks like he's going to Bush just maybe to... try to get. No. Kronos does have TP. Just though right, he's completely good. fine with back here. Now is the time for Raptor to hard push this in. He realizes that. It's the wave. Oh, forcing Kronos wave, to use Wave is gonna crash, and yep, Kronos is gonna TP. After getting back himself as well. So, yeah. you, you asked, um, 
for set once he buys his W. Oh, nice. Oh. Back Venus. And there's JC flying over the wall. Oh, big face breaker, but it's not going to be enough. JC secures that kill. He has ult. Gets the slow. Oh, nice little combo by Captions. The patience by Ark. Saving that knockback. Captions pops that barrier maybe a little prematurely. Just gets because that barrier didn't take any damage. Yeah. He gets to walk back to land. But uh, so, sorry. Um, as soon as set buys his W, um, whenever he takes damage, a white bar fills up under his health. That is his crit. Basically, it's proportional to half the damage that he takes. Um, I think, or maybe it's all of it. Anyway, um, the higher your W's level, the more grit you can hold. And when you pop your W, it expends all the grit you currently have. By the way, grit, uh, oh, we see an engage coming in by Asian Heat. Pop that ghost, it doesn't want Kronos to get away. Let's see if you try to fight that flashes. Oh no! Okay. Asian Heat. Waste the ult, but maybe that that's getting a little bit more uh, points towards Frost. It's absolutely a Frost game. Gonna have to sidestep this. Manages to very. Oh no, he flashed. <laughs> um, yeah, you pop W on set, it expends all of his grit. He gains a shield equal to half of his grit, just over his health immediately, and he winds up a punch. That punch will deal 100% um, true damage equal to the n amount of grit he had in a cone directly in front of him. And it turns into physical damage that rapidly falls off on the edges of the cone. Raptor, damage. Raptor! Oh my yeah. God! He dodges the knockup by Rev. Get the unstoppable force directly on top. To Leo, and oh walling no! Off. Oh, forced, forced to use flash. Fantastic oh. stuff. Very well done by Raptor. Knew he wasn't. Saw the engage by Rev coming. Managed to step around some fancy feet and secure the kill on Kronos. There's enough time for them to take. Uh, okay. Will secure Shelly. Yeah. Feral. Like the bot lane is but JC's up gotta be them. very careful. He's a lot of guy. And he's, he's ready to jump over that wall. Be careful. I'm. Ooh, Kabimus. 1v1ing Rev here. Here comes Silas. Though. Ooh, there's massive ult by Captains. Kabimus misses ult, but Kronos misses his E. Ark is there to cover, but he has no mana at all. Kronos has the Leon ult. JC gets exhausted. Or fuck, those be bad. Just get out. Fiona ult is hard. Ark. Oh Just no! Isn't gonna make. No. Their abilities are cool. What? Uh. Um. <laughs> oh. So anyway. Okay. Looks like we went for a pause. Also, that is a lie. You do not, not a lie, that is incorrect. Um, don't have to let know about pauses ahead of time. You can, um, pop a pause or whatever. Okay. Um, but now I'm, <laughs> will he get out on the next episode? <laughs> All right. Uh, speaking of which, okay. Sorry about like, coming in late, it's but like, yeah, No, you're fine. This is. It's like, um, JC Green had a PC error. Okay. Yeah, it looks like everybody's ready. We'll as soon as they hit. Actually, we can see right now that uh, JC has been moving up towards spawn. Yeah, he might have so had a minor have been disconnect. A, yeah. That's that's likely the issue, although I'm not. I don't think we're entirely. Oh, there we and are. there yep. it is. Nope, didn't make it. Ark does die. So, uh, last time on Dragon Ball Z. Gold is almost entirely even. Man, thanks to Salvation, doing so much damage. That's it's okay. No, it's just the player catching up. Okay. Um, the pause time. It's, it gets take a second. Snapshot of reality. Um, so much. Almost. I think three plates are gonna be snagged here by Stonehill. Yeah, that's so much gold. Even split in half. I I don't think Kronos wanted to hit that. Either. I think he was gonna be in a really bad spot if he hit that E. Oh my god, he gets it's caught hit. out by the Q. But and hit with the Luxie. Captions does get a hit by the tower that way. Yeah, no Malphite's hilarious because you don't really fight and then when you get a lead you just Q them down and then as soon as ult's up. Are you ready? Oh man. I oh I actually expect Raptors to engage with that. I think he's 
likely to I go I think he's playing for... smart. Yeah, no. Kronos, uh, both Kronos and Raptor are playing smart. I'm go trying to freeze here. I'm just, I'm wishing, I'm wishing Raptor would use wards more often, especially okay. in bushes around his tower, because... I mean, he does it, have a control ward right here. True, but Very good. it's... It's been twice or three times now that yeah. he could have gone in. Could have gotten Kronos, a kill. Yeah, if he had the vision for it and knew. I I do understand that he's focusing on the CS. Dragon. Or at least preventing it back and then delaying. This time. first dragon is still alive. Can we see? Can we see? Uh, any points he has towards either? No, we cannot. I fully expect him to be going for red kitten here though. Rost is very powerful in this lineup. This is a very fighty fight fight team on both sides, so. A set support, so practically two to top players. Yeah. Grievous of those roams is a little out leveled here. Raptor just walking up to Kroto, smacking him. Malphite <laughs> is such a binary game plan. But it's it's fun. It's effective. I launched rocks at you. That's my better. my my body. I will fly at them. I love it because in his old Malphite's model, pretty much just turns ninety degrees forward and just flies at you. Have they not updated? No, this, like, they, have they have not updated Malphite's model since launch. And I never. They, he has an alternate design and things like Wild Rift and Legends of Runeterra. But I kind of never want them to change him because it's so funny. I, I appreciate it. Oh, there's the lightning yes. crash. There's the stud. Like, Kabibus. He's going to get hit by a little in. bit of that. But here comes Wukong. There's, Ryan, there's the whirlwind. Keeping Kabibus up in the air. DC Green. He's getting caught as well. He's got to move. It's a shutdown for Rev. Wukong dealing so much damage. Yeah, uh, melee rage Zeri is not very effective. Kronos fighting here, but a uh, raptor, 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 you have you all can kill go. him. He has. <laughs> I don't there know why. Is. Well, Kronos did that. Just for why would you do it? Well, I, okay. No, Kronos' W is down. Uh, I, I, honest to God, was. was I, I respect here. Kronos going in, but I. He did not need was, to flash there. Yeah, and that was not a wise. Not trying to, not trying to pick for raptor though. Um. Yeah, I don't know why Kronos ulted in there. I think he I think he didn't expect Raptor to be able to respond for some reason. He ulted in W like, ha, I have more health now. And then Raptor's like, okay. <laughs> Ram is okay. <laughs> Looks like uh, Baron I'm is going gonna as fast try as I and can. take the first strike. Although here comes Ruth I don't know, there's three visioners. <laughs> oh, Bastion gets a little bit of that face Oh, Teleport. no. Oh, oh Kabimus. Kabimus caught out. Here. Here's Kronos. But here's Raptor. Ooh, that's a big showstop for Salvation's getting torn apart though. White tokens could be missed, but Asian Heat finishes off Salvation. Arc meanwhile is just artillery firing. Rev is very low here. Old jungler's in a bit of an awkward spot health-wise. It's a 4v4. Zeri almost has ult. Oh, that's a nice little stun! Some good damage forcing. JC Green to pop Ghost. Silas almost is off as well. No, he's gonna go for that. Captain's getting some fantastic stuns off. Oh, JC Green managed to get out of that. Arc flashes it. There's the Kane ult onto Asian Heat. Captain secures the kill on JC Green. He's Talia Ghost. getting Kronos is just coming for him. Oh my gosh. Talia was. I'm not gonna lie, uh, Asian like Heat that. stopping for that W may have killed him. I think you should just kept running. He had Ghost even had E up like any moment. Rev's gotta be careful to not die to this dragon. And Ark is um behind enemy lines. He's been oh. so oh! <laughs> He's been uh, Ark so was circling around hopping That over the wall fight was honestly carried by captions. He was he was not letting Baron to free and getting some great stuns, some nice damage out on that Lux. Another Lux? I mean, yeah. Might as well clear that wave. Oh, that cool that. 30 seconds at level 2. Lux is I'm not even looking at you because, yeah. like, oh, you played Lux. It's just like, what in the world? No, no, I, I don't play Lux anymore. But I, know I feel like they, she's, even improved as a champion since when I started. I honestly don't know. Like, if you play her right, absolutely. But we're kind of in a tank meta, so.
We're gonna see if something work as well. dc has gotta be careful. It's kinda ego playing this, especially with the white tail in the way. Um, yeah, here it comes. There's the dash. He has flash, but. Oh, he's getting battered. There's the lightning crash. And a oh. TP coming out. Let's see if it's not. Oh, the showstopper on top of the beaver trying to get out. But not gonna oh, be not gonna be enough. Chronos Raptor going and Chronos in on Raptor. fighting here. Both and Raptor's Mythic with the new Frostfire Gauntlet, Iceborne Gauntlet, which I actually love. Um, definitely makes it easier to fight, but he's gotta be careful. Rev gonna hit Tower Dive here. Here comes Asian Heat Arc. Asian Heat has Rost now. That's a lot of extra power. Baron's the all he, he captions is not getting away. Baron saw Wukong top lane, and so they decided. So they went after um went after Lux in that lane. White Tail is playing a dangerous game. Asian Heat Arc rotating top. Wukong might actually be getting cut out here. Oh no! No, 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 Shelly. Here comes Raptor, he has the Malphite Chronos, I'm sure he's gonna get that Malphite ult any second. There's the engage, there's the Malphite ult. Kane is there to secure the kill. E2 does not connect. Rev's gonna bail out. Doesn't have his dash now though. It's gonna be pretty difficult for him to steal this. Just kill it, just kill Shelly guys. Artillery fire. For real. Oh, oh! okay. Very nice steal by Rev. We're trying to get out of the big exhaust from Salvation on Asian Heat. Shut down for Asian Heat. Salvation's getting battered. Captions There's the Kabima side on the captions. He's not going anywhere. Was well played. And Salvation did manage to yoink the um Eye of the Herald. I I get what Pet State Fair was doing. They wanted to spook Rev off. But at a certain just kill it. <laughs> Very well fought after fight though. Multiple shutdowns secured by Baron. Um, couldn't really ask for much more. They got the shutdown on captions and on Rev. Gold is officially on their side. Having a light 1k gold lead. I cannot believe Kronos is still just walking up like this. Especially with the Iceborne Gauntlet, Raptor can fight him so much easier. Than Raptor even sidesteps that E2. He has the unstoppable force, and Asian Heat is here. Does Only he flash? Just... Oh, wait a minute. There's the Rostalt. Raptor still has the. He flashes. But it's... And there oh, it is. Rick. It's gonna be another kill. Salvation popping. Shelly mid lane. Oh no! Here comes Luxie, uh, okay. for quite a bit of burst damage. And oh, oh gets hit by a Seraph's Embrace Pop. Picks him up. Did not use the, the air ball. Did not use the uh, shield time. Oh no, you didn't use that. Really? No, Seraph's Embrace. Uh, oh, oh it's, sorry. In Seraph's Embrace, my bad. I, yeah. Oh, the Q by is the still connect. There's the lightning crash. The flash into the sunspot. Ref! Walk the whole way there and he's like, none of it. Oh my gosh, JC pops go? ghost. Rev's just gonna dash away, not sure what JC expected there. Dragon is up in a half a minute. <laughs> Rev's gonna smite that. Nah, this is my, my JC Raptors. That's oh, awesome. that's a little awkward though, because now Wukong doesn't have smite for dragon. Ah. He kind of panicked that. He didn't have another stack of smite ready. How soon is the cooldown for his smite? Uh, I believe still 30 seconds. We're looking at 20 seconds here. Dragon's up at should 7. Should be... Okay, it should be fine. I don't think Baron's gonna Blitzkrieg Dragon that fast. But Raptor does have Unleashed Teleport. And there's a perfect ward for him to come to right there if need be. He has the Unstoppable Force. It's Raptor looking like a very good fight for Baron. Raptor getting spotted by, uh, Ooh. Lord. But moving Rev down for Drake. as well. Arc and moving top to catch Kronos. To be pushing top. This is gonna be a smite battle. Baron trying to pull it out. Can they kill this Drake? Or. Oh, there's the Hexa. There's the jump over by Rev. Unstoppable force. There's the TP coming out. Baron secures the kill. Raptor's getting battered. Trying to stay in the game. Let's do the wall. JC secures the kill. Arc gets another. That's another for JC. Oh, Kronos taking 
Oh my god, hard for the but wall. The wall has has doomed Kronos. Kabimus dodges the sunspot with his zenith blade. And, and just barely, barely lives. Surviving. Yeah. Woof. Very well done by Baron. 4k Goldie here. Tell they want to get uh Baron. Baron moving for here, Baron. But they're they're very weak right now. Like health wise, I mean. I accidentally turned off Fog of War. Um I think I think it will they still will be able to take it. This is dangerous. It's, I don't know. No. Uh, no. Okay, maybe. This, I'm scared, bro. Yeah. Especially with captions right there. I don't trust it. No, just back off. Just back off. At this point, yes. Yeah. No, Lux coming up there with the all as well. If that hit one of them, it would have been death for it. any that, one of them. That has me so anxious. Um, here comes Raptor. Here comes Salvation. <laughs> taking, taking the bomb fruit. Blast code. I keep forgetting it's called blast code. Why am I calling it bomb fruit? Red destroyed. I like the name bomb fruit. Guys. So Asia is stepping up here. I guys, I don't know if a support set and a one in five Silas win this fight. Silas, Especially, Cosmos does have Malphite ult, but that's not. Yeah, Kratos has it, but, but so does not Raptor, going to be and Raptor's a lot stronger that. with it. Double knock up. There's another knockup and the stun. Nice little showstopper. It's not gonna be enough. Baron's entire Yeah, they did. Hey, squad D. <laughs> You're uh, rolling squad D, bro. That's gonna be a nice little two pick here. Bar yeah, no, Baron is going three. to go back for Baron. Hopefully, take it this time. Kabimus is gonna play bodyguard for his team here. It looks like uh, Stonehill is gonna kill. Nasher up to Baron. They don't really have much of a choice. Uh, it's really going after Lux. Uh, more just pushing the wave up. Now she knows she has the uh, Nasher pump. Baron in a very nice spot. 6k gold in the lead now. Just gotta maintain this momentum. They gotta keep picking these very nice fights. Yeah, no, um... Oh, for the yeah, cool. doing amazing. Well, easy out of Ooh, sidesteps the Lux flashes. Sidesteps the E2. Here comes Raptor, the rest of Baron's on the way. There's the Z playing game. And the unstoppable fourth. The lightning crash comes down. JC sidestep the hardest part of that face breaker. Oh my gosh, the knockup by Ark. Captions gets bursted down. Ark survives! And a fantastic fight by Baron. They're just playing as a unit here. Oh, they Especially gotta be careful. Rip, sitting in that bush. We're gonna get a fat cyclone here. He gets it, but not really doing a lot of damage against the three tankiest members of Penn State Baron. Gets the kill on Kabimus, but um with how with how Kabimus plays support. He's he's not too upset by that. Firmly with the my life for the cause group. So far, Baron has been playing this absolutely amazingly. Yeah, no, uh, the, what is now the 12 kill lead, as well as the gold, uh, Baron has gotten, sorry, I can't quite see, both teams have, yeah, both teams have one bridge each, but Baron has been t taking towers just throughout. Baron has absolutely been playing harder for these objectives, though Stonehill's still holding on a bit, Baron is just... Gold-wise, so much more powerful. 8k here. I fully expect this to go into a game three. Um, and that's really where we're going to have to see how each team decides to adapt. I still hit by captions. But uh, that's a that's a level 14 Malphite. He's fine. Baron He'll has, live. Baron has been playing amazingly together. Uh, they've been catching out they have several just members. Just been mosh pitting this. Yeah. Although... They do have... 10 seconds to Drake. I don't believe the control board they have set up in uh, Drake Pit is currently working to... Ark utilizing this Nasher buff to pull some members of Stonehill. Miss oh my gosh! Rev looking to try and steal this. 
Asian Heat scares the smite. Brings! Oh no, he brings the Asian Heat over the wall with him! He gets the knockup on Captain. Give that up. As the Heat transcending through the walls. That could have been really bad. If Stonehill was more fudged up, uh, Rev would have just express delivered a 4 um, in 1 Rost into the entire team. Cosmos pushed up top, got top tower. And ended up pushing up wave into it during that, uh, that during that encounter, but yeah, no, it is that tower will be Lux using all to I got it. I got it. I got to know their names because I'm, I'm just confirming them to them as the champions. But still, oh my gosh! Wait a minute. Ah, oh, Ark tries to TP out. He does get that. Oh my gosh! He. Oh no! No. He got the quite. tower. He, value, he got the tower. Absolutely. He but. tried. He hid in the bush and tried to TP away with the summoner spell. That would have been amazing. Not quite though. The slight shutdown. He didn't off. have. He didn't have a shutdown. That's actually kind of surprising. Actually, kind of shocked. Uh. Arcs have been going very even. Hot. It is, it, it is very hot in here, and I'm becoming tired. I'm becoming even. But yeah, no. Um, Expiring up in a minute thirty. Drag it up in three. It's an Earth Soul as well, so beefier members of Baron absolutely walk us up to resistance. Baron warding off for Drake. It looks like Bemis is going a bit in the jungle. Trying to. Not, yeah, ward it off. Oh, Kronos, you like seeing the of course. Here, the true one comes down on him. There's all kinds of ults. Tries to use it to escape. Whitetail pops the, pops the uh, feather dance. Flashes out. But Arc secures the kill. JC on. taking both oh God. set and Lux ults. JC barely survives. Took a full haymaker, or er, yeah, took a full haymaker and a uh, final spark. Actually managed to escape just barely. Gonna thank that to the uh, the bloodthirster. Ah, that was so close. These backs are giving me anxiety, guys. Kabimus left to hold the line. <laughs> oh no! Okay, pop the board. That's so like <laughs> half the raptors. JC just taking. That's right, off. Baron That's ready me. to mosh again. Malphite all almost up again. Arc pop salvation. The the Leona ult Leona is up ult. again. Oh, wow, Caption is not allowed to move. That's more and more kills going in JC's pocket. Looks like it's gonna be another Nasher because of Baron. Rev, uh, uh, once again looking for a steal. And Rev to... uh, instead, they're just Baron just gonna turn her out off the Nasher and just kill Rev. Gonna still lay on all. No fear in Kabimus' art. Tries to engage onto the Leona or onto the Silas alone. Half a Baron gonna choose to accept. Oh, sorry, no, it's it's an Infernal Soul, Thunder Soul. Um. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. My, no, 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 my watch. <laughs> Siri's becoming Skynet, and I'm not a fan. Hey, Siri. Um, so 30 seconds to drag. Baron's third, and if they manage to stain this, they will be on soul point. Kabimus on his confident, just playing bodyguard. And 20. <laughs> Salvation trying to pull Kabimus over the wall with the uh, uh, face breaker. All of, like, all of us that skills are made stuff like that. Oh, nice oh, engage. Oh, gonna get bursted down by both the Talia and the Ari. The 
Zari. Zari, you're good. Zari. <laughs> It, it's it's too late. You're good. Starting to go for Drake again. It looks like yeah. You know, from they're the pick gonna... they've, from the picks they've gotten, they're just gonna oh. play it and then. Okay, I thought Rev was gonna, gonna go for it again. That's another dragon for Baron. That's more damage. Stonehill has just not been. They, they've been attempting to. Uh, to steal or to counter, um, definitely counter, Maybe. counter uh, objectives. But oh yeah, no, just force barons to pay something for those objectives. But yeah. They're just never in a position to actually threaten any of barons' objectives. I think it's mostly due because they're like not the overall not nice engaged by Kabimus. The big thing is, um, last game Stonehill won just by all playing solo, and Baron let them play solo. And they played it very well. Um, just winning small engagements overall the led to the whole game really. Baron realized that and is absolutely just playing for team fight now. Although, he, he does get thrown white tail before he can pull back those feathers that could be devastating for Baron. Salvation is allowed to move, can't get the can't get the haymaker off. Asian Heat comes in. Nice sidestep by Kronos. But that is three members of Stonehill down. Which should be in Baron needs to run rampant. But at this point, yeah, no Baron can push up mid lane and hopefully take another tower or at least damage a little bit. I cannot believe Kronos is stepping up here. You think he's been doing that the entire game? I know, <laughs> and I cannot believe he's been doing it the whole time. I mean, he doesn't know Kabimus is a crackhead, but we do. I thought he was going to eat in on that. I but thought we were going to see Zeus slate. True. But, yeah, no, it is... It's been, it's really, it's been surprising, wow. like, what the... Four items what on... Was... Sorry. Sorry, no, I yawned. Four oh. items on both Ark and JC. Wow. No wonder Stonehill's just getting devastated. Devastation! Alright. Next dragon's up in three. Baron Nasher's up in 230. Bit of a calm here, but Baron, they're so far ahead. 14,000 gold ahead. Over double the kills. Consistently grouped up to combat. And they are just, yeah, they realize that they absolutely and it, even with and the are burst, playing for team fight. It takes no damage. Exactly, especially with that force of nature. Yeah, force of nature that he has now. Infernal soul, infernal soul as well will be fairly, fairly decent on Malphite with the. AP. Oh yeah, no, it'll, it'll be great on everybody. Yeah, it's just more damage, period. Looks like Stonehill is actually going to rip up Malphite. Kronos has the Talia. Oh, he might try to make something happen with that Weaver's Wall. If he can, if. If Stonehill could isolate um, a member of Baron, they might be able to take this home. I'll be honest though, unless they land Ark, Baron's team is pretty good at going over walls. Malphite with ult, uh, Kane and Zeri with their ease. Raptor feels no fear in his heart. Like, <laughs> he's, his shield was finally broken after the, after the recast of Wukong's ult and a tower shot. His shield. From his passive ability, which is giving you how much health, big man? That doesn't speak well to 300 how health. Gonna and also, whenever his shield is up, he has 200 extra armor. Ooh. So yeah, that no, is, that that Wu Kong ult was doing nothing. That's why in lane, especially, it's so important for um um. Malphite to play around his passive because not only does it give you that shield, it also, as soon as you level W, gives you 75% of your armor extra when you have the shield up. I did not know that. That makes Malphite an even harder, uh, harder champion to kill. I don't. I think Stonehill is probably gonna give this one. I'm not. I think they have to because I believe as players. As we are hitting a almost 40 minute banger here, members of Baron are hit, approaching and hitting level 18. 
Stonehill realizes that the next team fight they lose is when they lose the game. And I think they're just kind of stalling. No. Is Stonehill moving up towards Baron to... They might be trying to burst around. down Nasher. Um, but they... No, they're not going to do it. They it might. Look like Looks like they're trying to clear vision. And they, they should. But Ark is keeping an eye out. They should be starting now if they are going to. Yeah, they, they need to start because Baron is a very fast team here. Dragon is down. Chrono is oh, trying to play bodyguard. Oh, the single Q Ark does half his HP. It looks like it's he's like going to distract him. He's going to get to the stop, though. Yep. It's a Baron. But Baron's here comes coming Baron. It's the ghost pop by Agent E. No. Oh, man. Salvation actually got away there. Stonehill. The bomb fruit. Not... Stonehill is not getting away. No. Oh, oh no. They, I believe their set is did nope. back properly though. So they still they do three, have one bear. Three bomb. members of the team have. Okay. Yes. Three members of the team have Nash. And they'll need it to slow down Baron's. But hey, spoilers! Spoilers! <laughs> I hate when that happens. Is that just a new thing or just that? That's that been happening all the time. Oh. Well, now we know the game ends. When no. Talks. What? No. Who, who said what? Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the game does not end within three minutes. You're crazy. Let's see. But yeah, no. At this point, Baron is pushing up, taking enemy jungle as well. Um, looking to back, maybe do a reset before engaging again. I'm not. I don't know. I speak in general terms. You're all good. Yeah, Baron, that's a. But with that is with an 18% infernal... extra AD and AP. Period. Um, JC has a guard. Let, let's take a look at this item. JC is full build. Um. Ark is full build. Um, yeah, two members of Baron are at their peak strength. Um, I always forget this is an item. Vigilant oh yeah, that. no, I'm, it is. It's just like it's the item of all time. The the bonuses it gives up is pretty good, but mm -hmm. I it's not it's not th something that I'm like. Absolutely excited. Rapidons is giving Ark an extra 324 AP. That, that is, is not so, dude. Where's Ark? Where's Ark? How much damage that Q do, brother? Ooh! That is some good damage. Wow. A thousand damage. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Baron grouped up again, and it looks one, like. One second, one second, one second, one second. Uh, no, 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 no! Big engage by Raptor. Salvation's so one. The move is getting battered. Raptor will tank it all. Asian bursts out. Finishes. Salvation off. Kabimus was holding the rest of Stonehill hostage. Baron's gonna take power, and it looks like they're end. going to. Uh, that is going to be game two. Penn State Baron in a decisive 15k, one or 2.5 times kill lead match. 20, I believe that's 26. Okay, yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah good game. Uh, as noted here, folks. Extra. Everybody needs a break. All right, we're gonna take five because Whoa Nelly that was a big one and we still have one more. We are 1-1 one, one here We'll be right back in five It's time hit the bathroom grab a drink grab a snack do whatever you need to do and We'll be right back twitch.tv slash Penn State Baron Esports
Fight you can't win. Grounded. Hey, folks, I uh, thought I did turn the mic on. My bad. But yeah, we are in two. Game three here, our final game of the night. Stone, the Stonehill Skyhawks up against Penn State Baron Team Three. One to one here. I'm actually very surprised that the Kane pick was allowed to go through. Let's say Baron's ABC, Malphite yet again, Kane yet again, Leona again, with the switch up be Corky Mid and Malphite, or uh, Misfortune ADC. On, um, on Stonehill side, we see almost an entire switch up with Jack's Top, Gragas Jungle, Swain Mid, uh, which is surprising. So we saw Baron playing Swain uh, in the first game of the series, Caitlyn ADC on Whitetail, and Salvation on Lux in the support.
Okay, we're seeing. Looks like a attempt at a ooh invade by Stonehill. <clears throat> Could be a spot for nice and early. You know, whatever spots is gonna give that oh, the this immediate sweeper. Spending all their wards in that bot side. Asian Heat is uh, just standing there. Minion, should we do karaoke night again? No one can know about that. So, next weekend then? Sure. Love that king skin. <laughs> Raptor manages to barely survive that engage. He's, he's gonna heal up thanks to those potions. Raptor damage there. Very, very scrap fight. Damn, the or is the engage, but he's caught in the tower. Doesn't take a whole lot thanks to the landed over here. Raptor forced to flash. But Kronos is under tower. Does get first blood, but gets finished off himself. Boom, headshot. He's forced to flash. Ooh. JC is rooted. Rev, KJ on the arc. Arc. Let it root. No sums. And he gets caught by Rev. 
Oh. Chrono's fighting inside that mini wave. He's getting torn apart. But a root fight does a nice little damage to caption. There's no mana left. Beams with a nice sidestep out of that stun, no dice. Void Storm, Beams getting battered though. He tries to flash the JC, takes the ult. Gets hit by the root. They heal. Oh, just barely. There's the kill. This raptor usually needs to stop before it's coming in. Dodges the W and the E with that umbral trespass. Oh, not. Quite enough, but he gained a lot of points towards form. Attention to the track. Tail gets another kill, that's rough. The 
captain's going top to try to do a red bit better. Ooh, Salvation flashes up. Oh, the Leonel connects. Forces Whitetail to flash. You've seen so much damage. Sidesteps the final spark. There's the MF fault. Here's the kill on Salvation. He comes down and gets that W for a couple points. Dragon in 20. Once again, JC gets caught by salvation. You can't afford to keep on something like that happen. Takes the bomb tricks to secure that kill. We're looking at another infernal soul. Does go to Penn State Barrett's secured by Agent Heath. Pull away from JC. Quite terror responds in kind. Oh, and we're actually interestingly seeing a blue cane come out from Asian Heath. out of Chrono securing that kill.
Jack doing a good job keeping Kronos poked. Another kill for Whitetail. Power for Penn State Baron. Looking for this in next Infernal Drake. But wait for it. Jeff has Flash, but he doesn't have Smite. With the Beam is playing Bodyguard somehow. Tried to steal it with the Lux ult, but. Be enough. Baron bursts him down. That's a third drag of Penn State Baron on their sole point. Despite that. This gold is shockingly even. Like half a thousand difference. Strike. Battering Kronos. Oh my gosh, Dodge is the engaged by Rev with the Kane ultimate, the knockup, the damage by Ark and Raptor will save their teammate fantastically done. This is on the way as well, that forward wave will catch captions. Rev slow down, fails the flash, that's another kill for Asian Heat. Two of them survive with it.
Oh, gets caught. There's the flash out. He's re tanks the ult. Captain's pumped at demonic ascension. Oh my gosh, he's getting burnt down. W on White Tail and fails. There's soul point here, they gotta be careful. That's right over the wall. He doesn't have flash, but he does have smite. And, uh, oh, Captain's take. I know that, yeah, they can reach over. Oh my gosh, Captain's actually steals the Infernal Drake. He was getting battered down. I'm still going to get Captain. That is all. It's Kronos trying to get on top of Ark. Oh my god, White Tail's all barely didn't finish off Raptor he gets out. JC stunned by the counter strike needs to burst down Arc is so low. W's out, managed to live. Baron is losing a bit of their momentum here. For Stonehill, Baron is losing this lead gradually. Gets White Tail, gets salvation, and there goes Red. end up killing Kronos. Here comes Ark to cover him. Pop Salvation! just looking for their opportunity to close this out. Big stun from Baron. This is slowing down yet. Raptor dashes in. Doesn't get a guy, but 
Venus gets the stun. Gets the two members down. Caption misses that room. Baron's gonna go for Nasher. Those recent looks just wasted her ult. Going to let Whitetail get away. Save the bend back up. Tail and Rev bite it. The Nasher the Soul. I don't see a way that Penn State Baron doesn't just close the game out here. Baron just. Forcing their way ahead. Backing off, supremacy on the way, the best of the hills on the way with rebound. Rose engages on top of Asian Heat. Kills with, oh, oh is it the Lux Alt and the Caitlyn Alt finish off Asian Heat. ahead. Just need to find their opportunity to finish this up. Forcing their way into Stonehill's jungle now.
Oh, no, W connect. Baron is just not being able to push all the way to the end. Big Bear is just gonna try and blitz down Nasher. Bear is pure Nasher. Looking to tear through the survivors. Tries and gets bursted down. And with that, Penn State Baron, after a long and hard fought series, Penn State Baron Team 3 take home the night 2 to 1 over the Stonehill Skyhawks. Folks, it's been a long one. <laughs> But thank you for sticking with us. I've been your host, Michael Manning. This has been the Penn State Baron Esports Channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please follow us right here on Twitch. Follow us on YouTube to never miss them. So you can catch anything that you did miss. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for any kind of updates or announcements on interesting things coming. Like, like I said, should be streaming CSGO at 8 p.m. tomorrow. So if you want to tune into that, feel free. I will be I am your host Michael Manning. I will see you there. Please be safe, be good to each other and have a fantastic night.